hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're seeing my smiley face for the first time you're welcome my name is Ami. i talk about relocation and studying abroad all the links to my videos will be dropped in the description below of this video so you can check them out and you can also subscribe to my channel for more informative videos share my videos with your friends and your loved ones and keep watching hello guys you're welcome to immigrate with army but today we are still talking about canada we'll be focusing on university education in canada especially for people that have low gpa when it comes to pursuing higher education abroad okay one of the crucial factors that students often consider is their academic performance and this is usually measured by their grade point average the gpa okay however in reality it's not all students that have a high gpa and this can actually lead to some form of apprehension about their chances of being admitted to reputable university okay now the good news for you guys is that canada actually has a range of institutions all right that have a reputation for taking a holistic approach to admissions what that means is that when you apply to these universities which we are going to be talking about in this video they look at other factors that actually highlight your value aside just your grade point average all right so they consider factors that are beyond just academic scores okay and in this video we will explore several canadian universities that have a reputation to be more flexible in accepting international students especially those with low gpa so the first university on our list is simon fraser university okay it's located in british columbia all right this is a university that is you know well recognized for its inclusive admissions policy all right so what they actually do is that they place value on a well-rounded application and they take into account other areas of the applicant's profile and i'm going to be mentioning some of the things that they actually consider when they are assessing your application so of course they will look at your previous academic record usually represented by a gpa but aside that they look at extracurricular activities they look at your volunteer work experience and they look at other personal experiences that you've had which you know actually shows that you have some skills you have some qualifications that you're coming to the school will actually add value okay that you'll be bringing in some form of value to the university okay so international student with a gpa that is slightly below the typical requirement actually have a chance at admission if they apply to simon fraser university the only thing is that you would need to demonstrate other strengths and qualities aside your grade point average okay so let's move to the second school we are talking about the university of manitoba all right so this is a university that also considers applicants beyond just their gpa so it's not that the university of manitoba does not have minimum gpa requirement of course they do okay so they set a benchmark in the applications however they also assess an applicant's english language proficiency level they look at the personal statement they look at the letters of recommendation and they consider other factors that highlight the student's suitability for that program okay now if you listen well you will see that i actually mentioned personal statement this is a strong tool to highlight your skills to highlight your profile and to tell your story okay and i usually tell people that even if a school does not ask for it you can submit it at, as an additional document which can actually improve your chances of being accepted all right so you have a chance at the university of manitoba so this approach that they take at assessing a student application file allows the student with lower gps to actually showcase their potential and their suitability for the choosing program so we're moving on to the third school this is one of my favorites it's the memorial university of newfoundland 
Okay, and this school also adopts a holistic admission process by enabling international students with lower GPAs to demonstrate their abilities and potential. The university assesses applicants based on factors such as academic background, of course, which is important, letters of recommendation, you can see that, personal statement, which I just mentioned the importance a few minutes ago, and other extracurricular activities. So, Memorial University of Newfoundland's approach considered the individual as a whole rather than solely focusing on GPA. So, your GPA is not all there is about you, okay? There are other areas that need to be highlighted. And these universities that were mentioned in this video are schools that pay close attention to your entire profile. And then when they are making an assessment, they look at your entire profile, even though your GPA might be low. So we're moving to the fourth school. This one is the University of Regina. Okay. Now, this is a university that is actually well known for their flexible admissions policies, particularly for international students. And I mean, you can check their website. You will find out that the information we are sharing here is actually correct. Also, it's not that they don't have like a minimum GPA requirement. Almost every, I mean, I wouldn't say almost. Almost all universities actually have a minimum benchmark when it comes to GPA. But that doesn't mean that if you don't meet that requirement, you cannot apply to that school. There are other factors that can be considered which can actually improve your chances of being admitted to these universities. And if you are a student that have a low GPA, one of the universities you should consider is the University of Regina which is located in the province of Saskatchewan, okay? So, what are the things that they look at aside, you know, the GPA? They consider other aspects such as work experience, community involvement, and other relevant skills. So, this approach allows applicants to showcase their strength and potential, even if their GPA falls slightly below the standard requirement. So, as you can see, this is another university. This is the fourth one now that actually it takes a close look at your entire profile and when they are assessing your application, they don't only decide based on your grade point average. So we are moving to the fifth school here and we are talking about a university in Ottawa that is called Carlton University, okay? This is another university that is recognized for its inclusive admissions process. All right. So, um, of course, they don't play down on the importance of having a very high or very competitive GPA that is actually desirable, okay, according to their policy. But they also evaluate an applicant's personal statement. You can see now we are seeing this right here again, personal statement. Please make sure you pay a close attention to this document. It's a very strong document that can be a deciding factor when you apply to a school. They also take a look at the reference letters that you provide. They take a look at your extracurricular activities and they look at relevant experience that you might have had in the past, okay? So this approach of Carlton University gives international students an opportunity to demonstrate their commitment, their passion, and their potential in their chosen field. So we are moving on to the sixth school, which is actually the last school that we'll be considering. This is Concordia University, which is situated in Montreal, Quebec. All right. So this is another university that is well known for their holistic approach to admissions. While academic importance is important, of course, the aim of this video or the focus of this video is not to downplay the importance of having excellent academic and perform a great GPA is desirable, you should aim for it. But I mean, if you have already concluded your previous study, you can't change your GPA again. But what else can you do? That is the focus of this video. Okay, so why academic performance is important, Concordia University also considers an applicant's personal statement. You can see that again, letters of recommendation, and any additional experiences that demonstrate their motivation and potential. So this comprehensive evaluation that you know Concordia does actually allows international students with lower GPAs 
to present a compelling application. Okay, so I mean, in conclusion, guys, we are not downplaying the importance of having a good GPA. Okay, and a high GPA is often seen as a prerequisite for admission to renowned universities. However, if you're an international student and your GPA is not that high, you don't need to lose hope. All right, there are strategies that you can put in place to highlight your suitability for the program that you want to apply to. And that is the information that we have shared in this particular video. So don't forget, if you have a low GPA, you want to apply to schools in Canada, we've been able to present you with several Canadian universities that actually adopt a holistic approach to admissions. Okay, They recognize that academic you know, scores are not the sole indicator of a student's potential and that is actually the fact okay so your gpa is not all there is about you there are other more important things which can actually qualify you to get admission into a canadian university okay so by considering a range of factors such as personal statement extracurricular activities letters of recommendation these institutions that we have mentioned offer opportunities for students to showcase their talent their achievement and their motivations beyond their grade point average. So guys, if you're an international student with a low GPA, remember that there are Canadian universities that value your unique qualities and they are willing to give you a chance to pursue your educational goals, okay? So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this is an inspiration to someone out there and I hope that you guys will check out this university. We'll also drop a link where you'll be able to access the website of these universities. You can look at the programs they offer. All of them actually have some form of scholarship and financial aid that you can also explore, okay? So we wish you all the best, guys. Don't forget, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. We are dropping a lot of important information. Also ensure that you share this video with your friends. I believe that this information is actually a good one and you will do well by clicking on the like button for this video. Thank you so much, guys, and speak with you soon. Bye.